Women's Worship. I am so excited to be here with you today. Let's learn about God together. Before we get started, let's say our kids' confession and our kids' creed. Our confession is a prayer that we say telling God that we are sorry for our sins. Let's say our confession together. Heavenly Father, we have thought, we have said, we have done things that are not right. Help us to be truly sorry and forgive us for Jesus' sake. Amen. Our creed is a prayer that we say telling God that we believe in him and everything he says in the Bible. Let's say our creed together. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in the Spirit too who comes to teach us what to do. I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord, like thee. Amen. Hey there, welcome to another week of kids worship. It is so good to be here with you today. Before we hear our Bible story, we are gonna play a game. Have you ever laid outside and looked up at the clouds? Have you ever seen any shapes in the clouds? One time, I saw a huge cloud shaped like an elephant. It was so cool. So, if you can, I want you to lay down at home and watch the video. We are going to try to find some shapes in the clouds. As soon as you see something, I want you to yell out what it is. Are you ready? shapes in the clouds. You know, we are actually going to hear about clouds in today's Bible story. But in order to hear the whole story, we are going to go on an adventure. Do you want to come with me? Now, I don't exactly know where we're going, but I do know that Jesus is the way. That is actually our ponder point for today. Jesus is the way. Can you say it with me? Jesus is the way. Awesome. The way to where, you might ask? Let's find out together. But before we go, let's pray and ask God to come on this adventure with us and to teach us more about him. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much for another week of kids worship. God, I pray that as we go on this adventure today and on the adventure of life, that you would be with us and that you would remind us and show us that Jesus is the way. Thank you for today. Thank you for all of my friends watching and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now we need to make sure that we have all of the necessary supplies to go on our adventure. What do you think we should take on our adventure? Those are some good ideas. Let's see what I brought. First, the Bible, because it is always a good idea to have God's word with you wherever you go. A map in case we get lost. 
especially since we don't know the way to where we're going. A hat because it is very, very sunny outside today. And water because it's always a good idea to have water with you, especially when you're outside in the hot sun. And last but not least, veggie straws because you never know when you might need a snack break. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Are you ready to go on our adventure? Let's go. And remember, Jesus is the way. about 40 days ago on Easter Sunday? Yes, Jesus died on the cross and then was buried in a tomb. But then what happened three days later? Yes, Jesus came back to life. He rose from the dead just like he said he would. And then he was alive on earth for 40 days after that. So in today's Bible story, we are going to get to hear what happened during those 40 days after Jesus came back from the dead. Let's hear it. Do you remember how all of Jesus's family and friends were feeling after Jesus died? They were really sad, right? They were also afraid. After Jesus was killed, it was very dangerous to be one of Jesus' disciples. So they were scared. They didn't know what to do now that Jesus was gone. So all of the disciples and Jesus' followers got together in a room and hid. They shut the windows and locked the doors so that no one could find them. But as they were hiding, Jesus had come back to life and he wanted to see his friends. A locked door would not stop him. So Jesus simply appeared in the same room that the disciples were in. Some of them thought he was a ghost. Some of them doubted and were not sure that it was really Jesus. But it was. He was right there in front of them. He said to them, do you see my hands and my feet? Touch me and see that I am real. Stop doubting and believe. And they touched him and they saw that it was him. He was real. Their friend and teacher had come back to life just like he said he would. Do you want to know one of the things that Jesus did with his disciples during that 40 days after he came back to life? They ate together. Snack break! together and had fish cooked over a fire. This was just more proof that Jesus was back in a real body. But Jesus' body was better than before. His body had been through death and now it was made new and perfect. He could not get sick or hurt or killed ever again. And his disciples were beginning to understand God's plan 
to rescue the whole world and make everything new. Jesus was alive on earth for 40 days after he came back to life. Did you know that over 500 people saw him? That's a lot of people. And the disciples loved having Jesus back with them. Their best friend and Lord was back. But Jesus had told his disciples that he was going to go back to his father for good. This made the disciples feel worried. What would they do without Jesus? They didn't know where to go or what to do. But Jesus had told them, don't worry. You believe in God, so believe in me too. I am going home to my father to prepare a place for you so that you can come be with me when it's time. You know the way. But one disciple, Thomas, said, but we don't know where you're going, so how do we know the way? But Jesus had answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Did you hear that? Jesus just said he is the way. But the way to where? Have you guessed it yet? To God, the way to God the Father in heaven. Right. Jesus is the way to God and to heaven into eternity. That means forever and ever and ever and ever and ever with God. So, when it was time for Jesus to finally go back to his Father in heaven, he took his disciples up on a hill and they could see all of Jerusalem. Jesus had one more thing to tell his disciples. Jesus told them that they had one last very important job to do. He said, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you to the end of the age. So what was their job? What did Jesus tell them to do? Their job was to go tell everyone that Jesus is the way. To tell people that Jesus is the Son of God and that he came and died for their sins. And that when we believe in Jesus and follow him, we can spend eternity forever and ever and ever and ever with God in heaven. And you know what? God wants us to tell everyone this good news too. Because God wants everyone to know that Jesus is the way to him. gave his disciples this job to do, something amazing happened. Jesus ascended into heaven. That means that he started going up and up and up into the sky. He went so far up into the sky that he was blocked behind all the clouds and then he was gone. The disciples stood there a long time staring up into the sky when all of a sudden two men appeared out of nowhere dressed in all white and they said to the disciples what are you all standing around for jesus will come back again one day in the same way that he left so with that the disciples went back to jerusalem together and the disciples would go on to do the job that jesus gave them they would share the good news that Jesus is the way to God and heaven and eternity. And we get to do the same thing. The real adventure that 
we're on is the adventure of life. And we can go into our schools and neighborhoods and tell the best story of all. That Jesus loves us so much that he died and rose again to save us from our sins. And that Jesus is the way to God. Actually, our memory verse this week can help us tell people that Jesus is the way. It's from our story. Let's see if you remember hearing it. It says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Do you think you can say it with me? Let's try it together. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Awesome job. So go use this verse to tell people that Jesus is the way. I hope you'll have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.